What's up guys, it's Harry, this is Action Makes More, I hope you guys are all doing great. In today's video we are going over different tips you can use for a better night's sleep. But, before we jump into the video, I wanted to have a little chat with you guys and let you know what the purpose of this channel actually is. The purpose of this channel can't really be summarised in one quick intro, but I will summarise the categories in which I'll be hoping to upload. The main purpose is self-improvement guys, I have a passion for this. Alongside that, I enjoy exercise, I'm training to be a personal trainer, so hopefully in the future I'll be able to give you guys some exercise advice, tips and tricks that sort of thing yeah that's about it guys I just wanted to let you know but without further ado let's get into the video so guys tip number one your bedroom, is it fit for purpose? Is it your safe haven? Is it somewhere you go to relax? Are you comfy in there? A lot of us, many of us, unknowingly, sleep in a room that apparently is just not fit for purpose. This is something I had never considered myself. I also did a little bit of digging on this. There are ways in which you and probably I can improve where we sleep. One step you can take is to make sure it's the right temp. Studies show people who sleep in a cold room get a better night's sleep, however it varies from individual to individual. I have to have my fan on and my window open. If it's not something you guys already do, give it a go, change it around, see what you think. If you know it can improve your sleep, never mind hell not. The second step is to turn off any digital display. Basically, TV, turn it off. I am one who uses sleep with TV on. Turn your phone over, that's one I do. And any alarm clocks, maybe put the face down or whatever. The third step, guys, you can take is to tidy your room. You know what to say, a tidy room is a tidy mind. That is cringy, don't get me wrong, but it's true. If you tidy your room, it's almost like you're cleaning your head and you're Get rid of all the clutter and you should see what you have left in your mind because you've got somewhere to go. Sit in your bedroom. Lastly, on your bedroom, guys, add a special touch to your bedroom. For me, an example, I have a big Liverpool flag from when we won the Champions League last summer up the Reds. That's something special to me, and I also have a ticket for my bed of when I went to the Liverpool game. Some of you guys might have photos of your family, your loved ones, your dogs, your whichever, but something special to you that holds close to your heart is a good idea. Tip. Two, tip two guys, is to reduce your anxiety. When you are anxious, your heart rate goes up. You know, there is some technical jargon as to why this happens, but basically, you are far too stimulated to sleep. If you are too stimulated to sleep, and this then becomes a habit, you'll start associating anxiety with sleep and that is a road you do not want to go down. To combat that, there are a couple of steps you can take to reduce your anxiety before bed. Deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Something you can do over the long term and short term. You may have guessed it, meditation is key for this sort of thing. It gives you control over your thoughts and emotions. With that being said, guys, that's number two. Let's move on to number three. Right, tip number three. Number three. Number tip number three, guys. Organise sleep into your lifestyle. Your lifestyle probably contains social media, emails, radio, TV, etc, etc. These are all stimulants before you know it. It's going to be following day thinking, when can I go for a nap? There are a number of few steps you can take in order to prevent this and get a better night's sleep all together. So, step one, get a bedtime routine. And by this, I mean wind yourself down, have a set time you're going to get into your bed, turn all electrics off, your TV, turn, put your phone away, turn lights off. And maybe have a very dimmed light and read a book. Number two, 
I have started doing a bedtime routine recently. It's working for me so far and I think it's a very effective way to improve your sleep. Step two is napping during the day. If you nap during the day, you're going to be less tired of the night and you'll most likely wake up feeling unmotivated or whichever. That's my opinion on it. I know there's a lot of views on that one and I'm talking from experience and a bit of research on that matter as well. The last step you guys can take is go to the toilet before you go to bed. If you do this before you go to bed, it's less likely that you're going to need to do it halfway through the night, which let's be honest, nobody likes to do because it's scary. But that is number three guys, moving on to number four. I mean, Time up and look. The fourth tip, guys, is the foundation, the throne, the king, the kingdom, the king's den. You guessed it, guys, the bed. It's an unwritten rule. You do not cheap out on the mattress because sleep is vital, as you can tell by this amazing video. That's what words. Sleep is vital, and in order to get a good sleep, you need a good mattress. Now, Everybody's body composition, composition, everyone's body composition is different between each and every person. A few steps you can take to ensure you have the perfect mattress for your sleeping requirements. Choose wisely. This is going to be an expensive buy for you guys because we don't cheap out on beds. You need to ensure it caters to all your needs. Uh, if you've got any injuries, no spinal injuries, you need to make sure it caters to that and you support you do need with that. The next step you guys can take is to try before you buy. Now this one is important because you know you'll be spending a long time on this bed. You want to make sure it's perfect. So we go and line it for 10 to 15 minutes. What harm is that gonna do for you? Um, but remember if you have got a partner and you get funny with them I'm not saying get funny with them on the mattress right there and then but I'm definitely saying try it out with them guys God keep your mind not so dirty and don't any of you guys get any funny ideas the fifth and final tip that I have for you today is exercise you guys should have known it was coming sports and exercise can help you towards a better night's sleep working out effectively can tire your body out leading to a better to sleep for you in general. Studies show that exercise before bed can actually reduce stress um, and any other negative emotions. There are arguments out there that exercise before bed can disturb sleep but there is no evidence to prove this being the case. I guess really it's down to your personal preference. If you've ever done exercise before bed, did it feel better? Did it feel worse? Let me know down in the comments, I wanna know. I think I have done it a couple of times and I quite enjoy it, but it's just to say I wanna know what it's like for you guys because it is down to personal preference. Now guys, the type of exercise and the intensity of exercise can have a massive difference on your sleep. The first step is to judge your current sleep at the moment. Is it good? Is it bad? And what exercise you do? If you don't do any, do some. If you do a lot, reduce it a bit maybe. Step two, and um, maybe look at doing some yoga classes. Yoga is renowned for its relaxation and sleeping benefits, but alongside that, uh, slow walking has also been linked with falling asleep quicker. And lastly, guys, don't overdo it. If you ever train, then it can actually have the opposite effect of your sleep. It won't just wear you out, but it might make you that little bit more alert when you are going to bed. That's it for the video, guys. I hope this one helped. Let me know down in the comments what your current sleeping patterns are like. I wanted to do this video because obviously being in lockdown, everybody is. Um, more or less sleeping a lot more. It's just a matter of making that sleep efficient, getting the right sleep, not too much sleep, not too little sleep, um, and getting yourselves ready to go back to the real world when this is all over. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.